Hi guys, my name's Hayley Quinn and this is a sex, dating and relationship advice video for onlinedating.org. Now what I was going to chat to you about for this lovely sunny bench in Green Park, London was when is the right time for you to meet the folks. Okay, Meeting the parents is one of those seminal stages in the relationship which shows things are getting more serious. Do it too early, however, and it could scare the other person off. However, if it goes on too long, you might question how serious the relationship is. Okay, so here are a few steps to go to and think about. First of all, are their parents aware that you even exist? I would hold off talking about um, your new partner to your parents until they've made it clear that they're talking to their parents about you. A good indicator of this would be how well are you familiar with their family members? Are they chatting to them about um, using their names? Do they, say, do they ever talk in terms of, oh, when you meet them, you'll notice that, you know, my, my mum's really fussy about table manners. If they're saying things like that, it's actually a really good sign that they see that happening one day. So you might just want to hold off and let things take its natural course. Okay, guys, next thing I'd look out for um, is have you met their friends? Meeting friends is often a for or colleagues is a forerunner to meeting the parents. So if you haven't got through those preliminary stages, don't think about meeting the folks. It would be like trying to run before you can walk. So thirdly, if you want to see how they feel about the subject, talk about you then maybe attending some kind of family occasion with you one day. Use the terms one day and someday before you try and invite them to an actual event to feel out how they feel about the subject. Finally, if you really worry about this and the ball doesn't seem to be getting rolling, you've met the friends, their parents know about you, you know about them, but you're unsure what's a good first time to do it, then a, a great example would probably be something like an occasion. If you've got someone's birthday or anniversary coming up, there's going to be a party and it's going to be more like a group thing, then this seems much less intimidating for them to just pop along to than it, a formalised dinner arrangement. Then you can just say, hey, you know what, my folks are having a small get-together because it's someone's birthday, I'm going to go, would you like to come with me? That feels a lot less pressure than a formal meet the parents dinner. Okay, so just to recap, first of all, think about how much their family knows about you. If they don't know anything about you or your partner seems unwilling to talk about their family, then it's probably not the best sign um, that things are heading in a serious direction. Secondly, have you met their friends? Have you met their co-workers? If you haven't, then I would say to go through those that social procedure first before you take the next step, which is meeting the parents. Thirdly, if you want to feel out how they feel about the subject of meeting your folks, talk in terms of one day or some day. This will make it feel um, less threatening than if you're talking about an actual time and date when you want them to meet them. And fourthly, if you need a good reason to meet a person, then a great idea is to go for something that's informal, like a family occasion, maybe not a wedding, <laughs> where you're going to be going anyway, and it doesn't matter if they come along or not. Anyway, my name is Hayley Quinn, and this has been a sex, dating and relationship advice video for onlinedating.org.